Dr. Octagon, please come to the office. Come now. Dr. Octagon, paramedic fetus of the East with priests upon the church of the operating room. With the For viewers who might not be familiar with your work, uh, describe some of the different aliases that you're known for, like Dr. Octagon, Dr. Doom. So Dr. Octagon, Dr. Doom, Black Elvis, Papa Lawrence. <laughs> you know um, the list, you just have so many. Um, well, those were albums I worked on at, back then, conceptual albums with different labels, you know, I was signed to. Well, I'm a artists that make the producer. Yeah, okay. Well, what was it? I just, like, when I first found out about Dr. O Octagon, just reading the description, you know, that this is this intergalactic traveler. You know, where Octagon, did you come up with that inspiration? Me and Menelik just came up with one night, we was rhyming on this track. We was like, we need to just make a whole project called Dr. Octagon. So Automator came down, and next thing you know, we talked, and then I came back up there and knock that album out like in 24 hours. Well, a lot of people didn't believe it though. Are you serious? Well, it's known as one of the greatest albums of the 90s. Well, I'm a fast writer. I'm not like, some rappers take like two months to write a verse or something. I write songs and you know, just the beats and stuff. Everything was on time too, the way Automator laid the tracks. I came up the next day and you know, I have to shop before I make my music. I have to go to, um, stores, I gotta go to Macy's and buy yeah. a shirt or something, because it's a part of my inspiration of recording. Oh, is it? Yeah, I can't dry record and just do a verse or something like that. I gotta have some type of spirit flowing in my mind. Yeah. Like, I gotta go to mall or something. I gotta go to, you know, I gotta look around. Look, look, look around, moving up downtown. Look around, that's right, that's right. Total pass, a protection suit, four o'clock in the fire engages. Aliens. So I read that you created a subgenre of hip hop called horrorcore. What is horrorcore? Well, horrorcore is me. I was always into haunted records. I never was on the light side of records. I think a lot of people always recorded on, you know, happy beats. I always liked the dark beats. I was a big fan of horror movies, so I always loved, loved a lot of late night creep music and stuff like that. Tales of the Crypt, you know, those type of soundtracks, Halloween. Jason, whatever, anything creepy. I was always rapping on that. I just like dark stuff because the themes that I had wrote about fit those type of melodies. And I, I have a vivid dimension of thinking, so I mean, I write to make people think sometimes. I mean, I've done many songs with vivid imagination. I mean, I write a lot of songs. I, I, I got songs I never put out. I got songs I never release. I, I record so much. Well, I was going to say, I mean, I think just you know, taking a look at, at your albums that you put out, I think it's like over 50 albums. And you're telling me that you have music that you haven't even put out? I haven't put out a <laughs> lot of things, a lot of records I haven't put out. Well, because I don't, you know, a lot of people make their records for the project yeah. with the, you know, with the record company controlling them. And most rappers can't function without a record company because I know a lot of guys that made records when they was with labels, but when they didn't have a label, they stopped making songs. So they were more programmed with the record company. Me, I made songs all year round, regardless if I had a label or not. Cause I love making music. Obviously, you're a founding member of Ultra Magnetic MCs. You know, you released an album last year, Magnetic Pimp Force Field. Is it a coincidence that the word magnetic is used in both names? Uh, I guess he used that to combine that time of, of my, uh, you know, my leadership. Did you feel that there was an element of sci-fi that inspired that album? We just make records natural and they become what they are. I think I'm sci-fi natural basically. I love making the people happy and seeing people that know my lyrics and stuff from all that time of my, you know, my biography of me building up so much. Blue flowers, smell the bees and the birds. Blue flowers, different aspects of life. 